Welcome friends, Last Guy here, and it's time for the vlog. We didn't do a vlog last week, and you'll know why in a moment. So, uh, last week I went into a rage, and the idea is to do a quick 10 so I don't hit that point. Because I still want to talk about it, and hopefully we can distill it to a more chill version of it. Um, but before that, first thing to say is, uh, Kirby Podcast, there'll be a new one coming out this weekend. Uh, either before or just after this video, which covers the first Kirby Light novel, and it is so much fun. Oh my god, you gotta listen to that one or watch it. It is way too fun to watch it for the visuals that are in the book, or just listen on the podcast, because it is a podcast. So, um, the title for this one is, this one's for the gays, but not really. Um, this is for all the LGBT all the, in general, just gays is short for some people. What I talked about last week, well, I talked about whatever things, and then it led into me just thinking about what is it with the gay panic? For my entire life, there's been a gay panic. That's really what there's been. Well, not just gay, but just everything. It started with the gays. Gays and lesbians, and then it just transformed into everything else because, well, they got under the umbrella too. And I was just thinking... Does, why the hell is that? I just got madder and madder and madder because I was thinking about legislation like don't ask, don't tell. and Just all the witch hunting just to look, find people who are gay. And it's ridiculous. It just really is. Now I'm saying gay is a catch-all just because uh, that's how I've known it for a lot of my life. I also keep saying LGBT. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I asked myself, why do I feel this way? Why do I have no problem whatsoever? Why do I have a live and let live approach? Because I think that's just the way to do it. That's just the way to be about it. Like, okay, part of it is, of course, I got Kirby here, but Kirby wasn't a, a I'll say, gay icon at first. Like, sure, Kirby's, uh, in America, he's, he's male. In Japan, he's more of an NB, so he can represent NB. And I've done drawings with Kirby where I give him, like, NB colors and people haven't noticed. Um, and a lot of his stuff has just been given gay iconishness. Now, especially now, like, Kirby can be an, an, an NB icon, he can be a gay icon, he can be a straight if you want. For me, uh, the relationship for me is Caribbean, so it's Kirby and Ribbon, which is very straight. Or if Kirby is considered female, because some do, then he's lesbian, she's a lesbian icon. But then you've got others, they do like Mark's Magalore, that's very gay. Med Knight, King Dedede, also very gay. You've got the Mage Sisters, who are either very familial love, or that's definitely lesbian love there. And then there's just a bunch of other ones there. Like, you've got Choo Choo, and I forget the name of her girlfriend. There's always been a lot of uh, different kinds of love in the Kirby universe but not at the start because of course i started out from the beginning with kirby and eventually there's more and more of it and maybe that influenced me a little bit but i think what truly influenced me is the weird thing to say and that is i'm a catholic what i mean by that is i like the how i said that what i mean by that is i was raised a christian and a catholic and i was raised on all the doctrines and everything and i read the book and for some reason, I read it differently than everyone else. Because the whole thing is like, Jesus loves everyone. Jesus loves everyone. And he forgives everyone for, like, everything. Because he is the path to salvation. So, that means Jesus loves the gays. That's what that means. That's what it's always meant to me. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus forgives everyone. That's what I've always seen it. That's how I've always understood it. So, whenever I see uh, fellow Christians of whatever denomination, I'm just like, why do you hate the gays? Like, what is that about? I don't understand that whatsoever. There is no reason to have the moral panic that we have towards the LGBT community. And it's been like that for most of my life. Before that, it was the satanic panic. Now, here's the thing. People like to act like... We're not a Christian state, but we are, because a lot of stuff is just based in Christian doctrine. The satanic panic obviously was that. The fear of D&D. The fear of just so many things. Really weird bullshit. 
Christianity acts like it's the most persecuted religion on the planet, but it's the one that's done the most persecuting. It is quite silly, to be honest. I don't think who is the most persecuted. Obviously, the Muslims. Oh my god, how much propaganda against them has there been? Holy crap. Um, I mean, you could argue it was Jews before that, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, so that's the thing that I don't understand. Especially because, well, I guess just because horrible people use religion for horrible things. Because I was raised on Jesus Christ. And I've just always loved everyone. I've got plenty of hate in my heart for the people who don't love everyone. I got plenty of hate in my heart for, and this is why I got raged out, was just all the terrible things that keep happening that should not happen to people in the LGBT community. They should be allowed to live. They should be allowed to breathe. It is ridiculous. And I guess I just, that's what's been on my mind for some reason lately is just, why is there this panic? Like, I am very, very annoyed with, like, DeSantis and some other Republicans who are going, like, okay groomer to, like, gay people. No, I'm sorry, okay groomer to gay people? They've been doing this bullshit for 20-plus years where they don't want gay people to have kids uh, because they'll groom them. And, like, no, they're just giving the kids the opportunity, if they are gay, to be gay. That's it. That's it. Like, they're letting them know, like, it's okay to be gay. That's, that's it. That's all it is there. They're not going to make them gay. You can't make a person gay. Not a choice. Whether you're attracted to this or that, that is up to you. Uh, just your chemistry and all that stuff going on there. You can't just like, okay, now I like this. Now I like that. Like, do you choose every day to be straight? To the straights? That's the question there. My answer to that is no. I don't choose every day to be straight. I just, I see a lady and like, hell yeah. Like, yeah. Like that, that's the thing. Like, that's the same thing for a dude who likes dudes. He sees a dude and goes, hell yeah. A lady who likes ladies. She sees a lady and goes, hell yeah. Or a pan person goes, hell yeah to a lot of things. Not to everything. Now, this is the thing also annoys me with how men are like, they don't want to be around gay men because then they'll, they'll, the guys will be looking at them uh, like a piece of meat or whatever. It's like, bro, no no lady's looking at you like that in the first place. What do you expect men to look at you in that, like that in the first place? Like, come on now. Come on now with that crap. Like, not everyone's an animal. People are capable of being respectful. Like me, I am... A, I take Pilates to help my back. I'm in a sea of women uh, every other day when I'm working out because I'm at Pilates. And it is, it is the whole thing of uh, do unto others as you want done unto you. So what do I do? I don't want ladies looking at me and my pudgy body and judging me. So I do my best to avert my gaze. I'm not checking out these ladies. There are some very beautiful women there. I am purposely not looking like because... Multiple reasons. One is, I don't want them uncomfortable, because they're already uncomfortable. There's a man here. There's a lawnmower outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Some, I can, I can feel a chill from some ladies, because, like, yeah, there is a man here, and they don't like it. But, for me, it's, I don't want to be looked at be and judged because of my body. So I'm not going to do the same thing to them. That has been a mindset I've had in general. And that's how I feel about it with LGBT. Like, let people be gay let people be lesbians let people be trans let them be bi let them be whatever they want they are literally not hurting anyone like how do you explain that to the children why is it just about the children also what's the problem children understand it better than anyone children are like that guy loves that that lady likes that and that's it very rudimentary. It was like, kids understand it better than everyone else. This is a guy who likes guys. And whatever. I'm going to go play at the playground now. This is a girl who likes girls. And whatever. I'm going to go have ice cream. It does not matter to children. I don't get that at all. There is a lot of nuance that can be said and had in LGBT stuff. I think... 
the sports debate is an interesting one because of all the hormonal usage that is happening there that does impact bodies. I think there's an interesting conversation to have there. But so many people have absolutely muddied and poisoned that well that no conversation is even worth having in that. I find it very reductive and frustrating in general when any argument comes down to like, oh, you just don't like them because they're gay or you don't just you just don't like them because they're a man or a woman or just something like that. The short version is. As a as a human being and as a Christian, love everyone. There's no reason to judge people or who or anything when it comes to their sexual orientation. That's fine. And I don't understand why it's such a moral panic. I don't get it. Like, if you hate the gays, do you hate the celibate as well? Do you hate the barren as well? Like, is because if it was about having kids, like, I could understand that argument when the population was way smaller, but we're at almost 8 billion. That's a whole other thing I want to talk about at one point is, the interesting thing with having children is the people who decide not to. That is, it's usually people who should have kids that don't have the kids, and the people who don't have kids have like a dozen of them. To be completely honest, at least in my anecdotal experience, I have met amazing people who don't want to have kids, and now those amazing people are out of the gene pool. Well, I've met some shitty people who have seven kids, and they're seven times in the gene pool. <laughs> That is very unfortunate. <laughs> All right, I was talking about OK Groomer. So my frustration with OK Groomer was, who's actually been doing the grooming? It's a cell phone here, obviously, because it was the Catholic Church. Decades of that crap. Decades of uh, Catholic priests taking advantage of young boys. And that crap, despite being how big it is, people like to try to forget and put that under the rug. And I ain't going to forget that anytime soon. Like, that just ain't right. Oh, my phone's alarming. All right, we've already gone over 10. But basically, it's just like, you know, peace, love, all that stuff. Not a hippie thing. It's just like, it's a Christian thing, to be honest. And that's the way it should be. That's kind of why I like the current Pope, because he's been more of that. He can't outward say it's okay to be gay. <laughs> but he's get so close to it. But that's it. That is the vlog. I talked. I hope you enjoyed what you heard. Look, if you hate LGBT people, I think you need to just look inside and understand why that is. Because I understand why I don't hate them. I understand why I accept them. Because they're just people. That's the reason. Hate them for who they are as, you know, their actions, not who they are as their background, I guess. I worded that incorrectly. Judge them for their actions, not for who they are, I guess, is the best way to put it. Because shitty people come from everywhere. That's a better way to put it. So that's the book. Thanks for by, everybody. See you next time. Bye, 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 bye. I think I'm getting better at controlling him. I think I said that before. It's like, baby rocks to the mic. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> See you later, everybody.